Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Fabric Friday where we do style analysis, style illustration and everything sewing, okay? Today's video, we are going to be analyzing this very beautiful, this very elegant, this very mm, gown. <laughs> the moment I saw this gown, I was like, I have to bring this gown to Fabric Friday. You guys, and I know that I have not been showing a lot of love to my plus size audience here and I'm like, and I know you guys are giving me side eye like, oh really Ada? You're always choosing styles that will favor only plus um, slim people. Plus size people, I got you today, okay? I got you. And I'm going to show you the easiest way, the fastest way, and the simplest way to go about cutting and sewing this gown. Amen? Amen. So guys, to sew this gown, first of all, I want to tell you guys that I love this gown. I love it, and I actually want to sew it in this color. But there's a pandemic, shops are not really getting supplies as they want, and I've not bumped into this fabric in the market. So if I bump into this fabric in the market, you are going to see me rocking this gown. In fact, I'm going to recreate this look. Okay, so now guys, this is a very simple and elegant gown. It is a sea green gown. You know I'm not so good with colors, so nobody should come to the comment section and crucify me. I'm not so good with colors, but it looks sea green to me here. Let me know in the comment section what you think the color is. Now, the fabric is a stretchy fabric. I can't tell you if it's a scuba fabric or a lycra fabric. Just know that any stretchy fabric, like a stretchy fabric is what they used to make this gown. And it makes a lot of sense because this design was made for a plus size model. And even though like this style can equally fit like slim people it was made for a plus size model and you know when you're making for plus size people it's a little tricky so if you're making like a ready to wear and um, you want to include the plus size into the ready to wear size chart you might want to play around with stretchy fabric that way you will not always have like returns people won't keep returning your designs you understand so this is a stretchy fabric and this gown trust me guys give or take I'm not trying to patronize you but give or take you can make this gown in five hours I'm saying five hours some people can make it under three hours but for me I sew very very slow I slow I sew slowly so five hours I can be done with this gown now to sew this gown the first thing you have to do is divide this gown into two we have the blouse and we have the skirt now to cut the blouse all you have to do is cut an off shoulder cut an off shoulder blouse that has a princess dart this is not a princess dart bust here i know you're expecting that but it is not a princess dart bust here it is a basic princess dart in an off shoulder and if you don't know how to cut a basic princess dart if you don't know how to cut a gown like an off shoulder gown that has a princess dart if you don't know how to cut a princess dart bust here i have detailed tutorials on these and you have to like check the link in the description box check the description box you see all the links to all these videos i've mentioned so you cut a blouse with uh, a princess that then you cut a band okay so this band is around 2.5 inches in width which means you have to cut a strip and when you're cutting the band make sure you cut it in direction of the stretch okay you know sometimes like when you want to um, sew a fabric like a stretchy fabric sometimes you can pull like this it will stretch but when you pull like this it will stretch you understand so if you want to cut a band for this kind of um, gown also for plus size people make sure you cut the band in the direction of the stretch so that when the model whether the slim person or the fat person wears the by the time the fabric is expanding it will expand in direction of the stretch it won't be stiff because sometimes you sew some stretchy fabrics and the moment you enter the the gown or the skirt you hear pa, 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 it begins to loosen and for some so, for some funny reason you keep sewing and sewing again it keeps losing that's because the band or that part of the fabric was not sewn in direction of the stretch so when it's trying to stretch it and um, the fibers are actually reverting against um, is it reverting actually fighting against it okay long explanation so for the band cut three point um, three inches so that when you are done sewing it will come down to 2.5 inches and for this band you just cut a straight a straight strip you don't have to do any long long calculation now for the skirt this is a basic skirt is a basic pencil skirt and the front is the back is basic uh, is a basic skirt the front has a little slit in three quarter of the front part i don't want to confuse you guys so i'm just going to sh you just need to check out this this clip on how to cut the front part so we're starting with this paper and you're just going to fold into two the normal way you fold when you want to cut your skirt 
then you take your desired measurement like your this length of your skirt connect your markings together go ahead to mark your hips your waist your hips you know and one thing you want to bear in mind here is let me say whatever you're marking as your waist and your hips add like three inches extra seam allowance to take care of the allowance for the slit and the sewing allowance as well to join the sides so after marking your waist and your hips this is what we have here you just go ahead to cut out your markings I had to adjust my table it was shaking <laughs> okay then you just cut out the working piece for the skirt this is what we have here you make sure you notch the center for both the top and the bottom because you need it to align the front part and the back part together when sewing or marking your waist and your hips so now from the center you know the point where you normally mark your dart good that is where you draw the the point for the slit okay then from the bottom you go eight inches upwards and mark the point for the opening of the slit so that's what i did there then that place where your dart nearly sits that's where you insert your slit so after that you just cut it open so this is what we have here you can see that it's very easy to cut it so you've seen how to cut the front part it's very simple it's very easy now let's just quickly go, go over to analyzing the sleeve before we go ahead to sewing the gown now this sleeve is a flared sleeve and it's just like an overlap flared sleeve and i don't want to confuse you with my with explaining how the sleeve works so you just need to, to check out this video the sleeve is a flared sleeve that has an overlap and it's very simple to cut so you're just going to fold your fabric like so you fold into two then fold into four then you mark the circumference that's how wide your armhole is okay then from there you go up, go ahead to mark the length of your sleeve so if you want it very big you mark just your desired length then you connect this is where we have here then you connect your markings together okay so you know the way we normally cut our flares that's how you go about marking this sleeve then you just go in and cut out the outline of the marked flared then after that you open up one part of the side so this is what we have here a full 360 flared then from the bottom i just want to mark where we we'll cut off to do the overlap so you can go really really in depending on how much you want it to lap so that's just a little shape i drew there you can make yours deeper then you just go ahead to cut it out then you overlap it and attach it to the sleeve okay so this is how you cut the sleeve is this simple is this easy i told you guys okay guys so you've seen how to cut the front part of the skirt You've seen how to cut the sleeve i've also explained how to cut the blouse part of the skirt so of the gown so when you want to sew this gown the first thing you do is join the pieces of back parts together join the pieces of the front part together sew them and join them by the sides then the next thing you go ahead to do is to attach your band to the blouse so after attaching your band to the blouse the next thing you go ahead to do is to sew your skirt so for your skirt you attach the slit part okay so for your skirt, your skirt you attach the slit part first of all to, for the front part you open up all the places that need to be open like that little slit there is around um 8 inches in length you can make it smaller you can make it longer depending on how you know long or short your gown is so you sew the back sometimes for me i don't really pick my dart for stretchy fabrics but some people do if it will make you feel comfortable pick the dart for the back part of the skirt okay pick the back the dart for the back part of the skirt so the next thing you go ahead to do is to join the front part of the skirt to the back part of the skirt mark your waist mark your hips sew it when you get to the hem of the skirt minus around minus around like one inch to make it a little more pencil okay minus around one inch half an inch to make it a little more pencil the next thing you guys have to do is to join the blouse and the band to the skirt you can see that the gown is already coming together then after that you join the sleeve this over arm here is just like a folded fabric into two you just fold the fabric into two attach it to 
you know your over arm over your arm like this the same way you can see it in the picture then you go to the back attach your zip give it a really really good press and ladies and gentlemen this is the easiest way the fastest way and the simplest way to sew this gown if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed if you're not part of the family also follow me on instagram and facebook at stitch address come back for more videos i'll see you in my next bye